Okay guys, so this is part two of my empties. This is my beauty portion. It's gonna be makeup items that I have used and tried, whether I like them or don't like them. Will I repurchase them or not purchase them? So we're just gonna talk about it. So like the first thing is Diego. something that I found at the Dollar Tree. It is the NYC Liquid Lip Shine. And this one is in Prospect Pink 526. It looks like this, and it is a lip gloss. You open it up. It has, I love the applicator, it's awesome. This is the color. It looks like this. It is a very metallic color. As you may be able to tell, this sucker is full. I can't wear anything like that on my lips. I will look like I'm going to the glitter party every day. I can't go to the glitter party every day. So this one was a fail for me. I wasn't expecting it to have so much of a satiny finish to it. Like, I mean, I could have just put it in the middle maybe. It was just a bit too much, so it's not really empty. I just kind of just threw it in the empties to throw away. Cause I won't be, I won't be using this one Next is my Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Cream to Powder Foundation. If you guys recently watched my favorites video, you know that I love Black Radiance foundations. I have always used this cream to powder, but I have recently ventured over into the liquid foundations. But this is still the same color, 8914 Mocha. This one's just different because it looks like this and you just rub into it and it kind of turns into a powder. It also comes underneath here with a little pad that you could use. You get a lot of product in here for $5. So I love this and I repurchase it all the time and I will continue to repurchase it. This is another lip gloss, Fail. This is an e.l.f. one. I got this one from the Dollar Tree as well. And it's almost like a dual type thing. Just weird. It's like on both ends, it's a lip gloss. So you open this end and you get this lip gloss, which looks like this. Yeah, you can't see nothing, Holly. And then on this side, you open it up and then you get this one. Same thing, you can't see nothing. You can't see nothing, it's like a waste of time. Fail, fail on that. Next is our e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. And if you haven't noticed, I have a lot of e.l.f. makeup because I am new to makeup and I ain't wasting my money on no Anastasia Beverly Hills or, or no Kat Von D and Homegirl don't know how to do them things right, and homegirl gonna waste her money, and you know? I don't have time. So let me play with the e.l.f. products, and once I get it down pat, I may venture off into a little bit more higher end items. But as of today, e.l.f. is I'm rocking with e.l.f., and this is the eyelid primer. I love this stuff. It it keeps it keeps this shadow on all day, all day. This is in, this one is in sheer. So you just rub that in and it's going to give you a great base foundation for your eyeshadows. It is $1 on Elf's website. You can also find this at Target for a dollar. So you guys, if you are new to the makeup game, peep Elf out, elf.com. They have lots of things. They're always giving away free stuff when you make a purchase. So definitely check them out. Next up is this ELF. My bad. ELF Complete Coverage Concealer. I tried it. Yes. This one is in medium. I tried it, guys. I tried it. These ain't no colors for me. As you can see, I messed up. This was just simply not mine. Not my colors. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna swatch them. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. That's that one. 
I'm gonna get all of them on here. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. All right, so look at that. Maybe a highlight. Maybe for a highlight. But they are very chalky. Like, I mean, I don't know how to work with these things, man. I don't know how to work with these things. So I just leave it alone. So I, this, is a, this was a fail for me. Maybe not for you, but it was a fail for me. Black Radiance, once again. This is the this is the concealer. It had a liquid in and a stick in. I can't remember what it was called because it's rubbed, rubbed off. But this was the stick in. It was almost like a lipstick. And you just go right on under. And then this end was the liquid in. Like you could put the, the liquid on for and then a powder. It was so cool. And I like this a lot. I got it in CA8015. Um, and I use this all up. This was good. This was very good. I have so many concealers to try. I just didn't repurchase any of these stuff yet because I had so many to try. But yeah, this was really good. Let's Missing said. You guys know about this. Everybody know about this. $3 at elf.com or Target. I have repurchased this 80,000 million times and I probably will continue to repurchase this this is the bomb. It's easy and it's simple. Another and I one love that this. I've been that I tried was the NYX Dewy Finish. Cause my face is dry, you know, and, and I kept and I put my makeup on, be all, oh yeah, yeah. As soon as I leave out here, oof, my face be oh man, I look awful. Cakey chalky, all kind of foolishness. This was good for that. This dewy finish was good for that because it made a difference, okay? It made a difference. I want you guys to be able to, this thing isn't gonna work. See, see, can they see? Yeah, this was good. The dewy finish was really good. This thing was $8.99 at my local beauty supply store. I know you can find it cheaper somewhere else. Find it, try it, missed it. I probably got a little bit less. Oh, come good. Good clean mist. And it's like, it gives you like a dewy finish. It's not dry matte, it's like a dewy finish. So when you put it on, you just look, feel like you just, you know, like you just ran through a sprinkler or something. Awesome. Maybelline Brow Styling Gel. I'm not gonna get too close with this one, guys, because it looks disgusting. It is what you use to set your brows after you've done already define them. You know, tame them with the clear mascara. That's what this was. And like I said, it looks brown because I use it after I put my stuff on my eyes, you know. But it set. It set them bad boys. And it set them and they stay all day. I got this from the Dollar Tree. One dollar. Yes. And I wish I knew. I, I just would be going in there looking for name brand stuff and just be picking things up. I didn't even know what this was. If I knew what this was and what it did, I would grab them up. But when I went back, it was all gone. So you guys need to check out the Dollar Tree. And if you see stuff, grab them up because they're going to be all Next gone. thing is this LA Colors You The Bomb. Oh, thank you. You The Bomb. It is the Vanilla Bean Scented Lip Balm. I don't know. I think I got this from like Dollar General. But it's nasty. I know. I ain't going to show y'all. But um, it's just a lip balm. You rub turn it up it is real big and it was like vanilla it was so moisturizing and I would put this on before I put my like lipstick and stuff on so LA girl not LA girl LA colors the last item in this makeup empties is going to be another elf item it is a pressed powder and it is what I used to use to set my makeup until I had to come up with this Maybelline Fit Me that I love so much. But yeah, it ain't got no top, it's all broke up. But that's okay, it still worked. Okay, and I can't even remember what color this is in. But anywho, it was my color and it worked. So yeah, I got a little bit still left, but oh my God, look at that, look at that. Let me show you guys. It's like, mm. 
Mm, yeah, it's my color. Look at that. And I'll set set my face with that bad boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't use this no more, but it was a dollar at elf.com or the Dollar Tree, of course. So that is it for my MTV's makeup edition. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found some items that you might want to try. Um, if you guys watch one and two, give me a thumbs up. Put something in the comment. Let me know you watched one and two. Um, if you've tried any of these products that I didn't work for me and you have suggestions, let me know down below because you know I don't like I don't, I, nothing to me is bad. It's just not for me. You know, you can't use everything. So, I'll never say, oh, this is a bad product. I just couldn't use it. I couldn't use it for me. It didn't work for me. So, you guys, let me know below. If you want to see anything else, let me know. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you are subscribed, welcome back to my lovely subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. If you're not subscribed, well, come on, join the family. We're slowly creeping and crawling, but we're growing and we're doing things and we're going to do bigger things, big things to come. So I appreciate everybody for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.